Hi, I'm Chris, M9CVR. Remember that Yagi we built a couple weeks ago? Well, in this video, we're going to take a look at its performance. So first, a uh, small apologies in order. I know this was supposed to be last week's video, but you know, kind of life happened and um, I had to basically rush out a little uh, little different video and, and this had to wait, so sorry about that. But um, basically what we're going to do in this video is take a look at, you know, alright, I, I built the antenna, I got it folded up sitting back there, and um, we're going to take a look at what its performance is like. Now, I don't have a VNA or a, a antenna analyzer quite yet. That's something I'm working on getting. But we can at least kind of empirically take a look at how does it perform. Um, now, in, in this video, you'll notice I am transmitting and, uh, you know, without checking standing wave ratio, things like that, that's probably not super, super smart. Um, but I kind of needed some way to test, you know, does the antenna work? Um, for the most part, what I'm doing with this and what its what's, uh, what its purpose is, is as a receive antenna. So SWR doesn't matter so, so much. Um, so yeah, I transmitted a little with it. Um, I did not end up cooking my uh, my radio doing it, so that's a good thing. Um, <clears throat> the preferable way to do this would be obviously to throw it on an uh, antenna analyzer or a VNA and make sure that the antenna is what you think it is. Um, but that being said, let's take a look at what's happened. All right, so after all of that, may I present you the RDF-15, complete with a tactical butt stock. Um, <laughs> no. And this right here, I just didn't have um, the connector here to put on the end. I'll, I'll deal with that later. But I thought I'd give it a shot. So um, I've got my HT here and some coax. So let's connect that up. And we'll see what we can do. Um, so now this is technically a supposed to be kind of a receive only antenna. However, I do need to transmit in order to hear anything. So what I'm going to do is actually the you you are kind of between me and the repeater right now. So what I'm going to do is intentionally point it pretty much the polar opposite direction um, and I will transmit real quick and hope that we don't hear anything back. Um, our repeater responds automatically with its, uh, with its call sign. So what I'm hoping is I'll key down, I'll say my call sign and nothing will happen. Then what I'm going to do is turn it back over toward you, um, do the same thing, and I'm hoping to hit the, the repeater. So let's give it a shot. N9CVR, testing a new antenna. I did not want to hear that. That's good, we've got someone on the repeater. How about now? Uh, basically what I'm playing with here is a Yagi that I built and I'm just kind of trying to test the repeater. I was actually hoping that I wouldn't get in there, but um, now I'm pointing kind of more toward the repeater. Does this sound any better? I'm 
I'm going to give it one more. I'm pretty much pointing the polar opposite end of the uh, the um, repeater here. How's it sounding now? Sounds good again. Uh, like I said, a little bit of static in the background or uh, noise, but uh, nothing that uh, obscures your transmission. Well, that's really interesting. So I, I thought I had built myself a pretty directional Yagi here, but I guess not. Either that or I'm close enough to the repeater that um, I'm just not uh, not squelching it out, I guess. Um, but anyway, appreciate the, the feedback on that. Um, I'll play around some more and see what happens. This is N9CVR. All right, well, that didn't work. Um, <laughs> I think what's going on is we have people call in from quite a ways away into the repeater. So it's a pretty strong signal, and I think it was just picking me up, and that was that. So what I'm going to try now is there is another repeater that away, and it is um, it's actually in Wausau. So I've got it dialed up here on the HT, which I fully expect not to hear anything back from, um, but we'll give it a shot, uh, and then we'll switch over to the Yagi and, sorry, the RDF-15, and see what happens. And 9CVR testing. Just drop the chokes, or dr drop the squelch so that we hear and no, I'm not hearing anything back. Um, don't know if you heard anything from that, but I, I didn't hear anything back from the repeater, as I expected. Um, if a Baofeng with a little um, slightly upgraded antenna can get out to Wausau, there's, there's something weird going on. So, we'll shut this off and try the RDF-15. Um, that name's going to stick, isn't it? I've heard a lot of guys recommend um, basically sacrificial connectors on your radios. That's something I should probably do at some point here soon, but um, all in time, we'll, we'll get, it, get it all taken care of. All right, so here we are again. We're going to give this a shot, and we're going about that away. N9 CVR testing an antenna. doesn't sound like anything. All right, this one is going to Green Bay. Um, I should test whether I can get onto it. Eh, I can kind of, sort of, uh, I don't think I can actually get onto it with just this antenna. Um, but Green Bay is that away. So we're going to point that away. And hopefully, when I key down, we won't hear anything. So give this a shot. N9CVR testing antenna. Okay, good. I would have been disturbed if I had gotten it. Um, that would have been weird. So now we're going to try it from this way. See if we get it. N9CVR testing antenna. Oh, I heard it. Yeah, this is N9FD. You're coming in loud and clear into Appleton. Appleton, that's interesting. Appleton, interesting. Uh, you're on the Green Bay Mike and Key Club repeater, right? That is correct. 
Fantastic. Uh, that's what I'm trying to get into too. I'm testing a, a Yagi antenna that I just built. Um, I went into the Fox Cities repeater and that was way too strong. Uh, I was pointing the polar opposite direction and still uh, still getting into it. But uh, no, this I was just uh, pointing southward and I couldn't get into the repeater. Turned point nor northwards and sounds like I'm getting in really good. So I appreciate the signal feedback. This is N9CVR uh, listening uh, for your next transmission. All right, appreciate it, uh, 73, and I'll catch you later. This is N9CVR. 73, this is N9FC. Yes! So it worked. Um, I think what was going on there originally is, like I said, the repeater is just uh, too strong. It's um, over in... Of course, now that I'm recording, I'm blanking on the name of the town, um, but it's just right across the lake if you're, um, if you're familiar with Wisconsin geography. It's a little town right in the middle of, um, well, not in the middle of the lake, but the, uh, Lake Winnebago is kind of tall and narrow, and it's right about halfway up and down on the east side of, um, of the shore there. and. Um, like I said, we get people calling in from Green Bay. We get people calling in from Sheboygan, uh, all over the place. Um, so, uh, actually, one guy from Menominee. So, um, it's, I think Menominee. Anyway, uh, it's a pretty strong repeater, and my guess is what's going on is uh, a Yagi like this does not have a infinite dB loss on the back. Uh, there is this thing called a front-to-back ratio and um, I want to say Michael said that uh, this was about a 7 dB forward gain which would mean it is 7 dB uh, more powerful forward than it is backward essentially uh, which works out to you know, I don't know twice-ish uh, my my decibel math isn't that good, but um, the problem is that is not a full attenuation. So the next antenna actually that I want to build is something that should theoretically get close to full attenuation. Um, so you, hopefully you'll see that video coming up here soon. Um, yeah, it's basically uh, best best name for it that I've seen out there is called a cardioid antenna, and that's because it has this kind of heart-shaped um, uh, radiation pattern, which turns out works really well for direction finding. So this is working good. You can point and aim. Uh, for something like a fox hunt, you're going to want to attenuate it, uh, which basically means whatever signal is coming into here through the coax, uh, you're going to want to step that down a whole bunch to get to a point where you're not hearing the signal anymore unless you're pointing directly at it. Um, the cardioid works the opposite way where it pretty much receives pretty well from everywhere except from one direction where it really doesn't hear very well at all. Um, theoretically can't hear at all. Um, and we'll get into the physics of that in that video. But um, thanks for participating. Thanks for watching this. If this was helpful, uh, you know, let me know. If you got questions, let me know in the comments. Um, look forward to hearing from you. We'll see you on the next video and 73.